channel. In today's video, we're doing a DIY and it's a DIY that I really am excited about doing. You've seen the thumbnail. Don't say it, don't say it, don't say it, don't say it. I hope everyone's good. I say this in every video. You've seen the finished product before I have and at this moment in time and I really, really hope it looks good. But yeah, we're making a herbology book. Obviously, you've seen the thumbnail. I'm going to try and build up a mandrake of a note book. Um, I've got letters, obviously, for herbology. We've got some nice little corner, antique corner, book corner things. But it's been a while since I've done a DIY book. Obviously, I did, was it a spell book? I did a spell book. I did a diff another book. And I did, um, oh, it was Curse, Book of Curses, spell book. And I did a my own replica of Tom Riddle's diary after it had been... <laughs> But I really enjoy doing these books and they are lovely on display. Um, yeah, so I'm really excited. So if you want to see how I make it, if you want to see the process of how I make it and how much I struggle because we wing these DIYs, then keep on watching. And if this is the first time you're seeing this face, hello and welcome to my channel. If you would like to become a posh pop it with us, please click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a video. All my social medias, they're linked in the description of this video. Go see what I'm up to on those. And guys, I'm trying my hardest to get to my next big milestone of 2,000 subscribers where I'll be doing a cheeky giveaway as well. So I really appreciate you hitting that little red subscribe button and also I would like to give a massive thank you to my patreons they help me keep this channel running just that little bit more if you'd like to know any more about patreon that's also linked in the description of this video go check it out if you think it's for you then come join us I'm doing a giveaway this week on patreon it's nothing big it's only small but I let them know last night in patreon we um talk about they know about my big DIY that's coming up I've got a massive DIY coming up um hopefully within the next couple of months um, they know all about that so they get exclusive content uh, they know every video they know what every video that's coming up um yeah exclusive content giveaways um live chats on there um they get to see my personal life a bit more it's a really nice little group on there so definitely go check it out but all money goes towards this channel and helps me keep this channel running but enough about that Let's start. First things first, we're going to get these letters glued onto this book. I'm just using PVA, oh, you can't even see, PVA glue, because I do normally use a hot glue gun for this bit, but you've got to be really quick because it dries really quick. At least with PVA, I can move it around on the book just to make sure I've got everything level. cleaned my palette I had to show you because that was like the most satisfying thing ever peeling that off but yeah a couple more minutes and these letters will be completely dry next thing I want to do is paint I'm going to mix brown and green I don't think I've got enough brown here but I'm gonna have to have a look in my cupboard fingers crossed I've got some more but I want an earthy color so I thought I'd mix sort of brown and green have a bit of an earthy color paint the whole thing including over the letters um I was going to napkin and mod podge the book like I normally do to make a leather kind of effect but I'm not going to do it with this one because I'm going to be doing a mandrake I want all attention on that mandrake I only want that to be the texture on this book so this is going to be different to what I normally do but yeah let's uh let's get it painted <laughs> So here we are. I don't think the camera's showing the greeny colour. As per usual at the end, you will see better pictures of it. Um, I will take photos of it so you can see the proper product. Because I just find these cameras on your phones, they just don't do it justice. Off camera as well, I did the back. Now, I am not doing a second coat because I really like this. You, some of you might think suits you looks rubbish. Just trust me, I really like it. I like the fact that it kind of looks... 
still looks a bit leathery even though I didn't do the napkin method that I normally do but yeah so what I want to do now I think it's dry enough to put down let me just yeah it'll be fine it'll be fine so now I need to build a mandrake in the middle here so what I've got let me just move my plate now we're going to do the napkin and mod podge so I have got just some mod podge this is dishwasher safe gloss but any Mod Podge I think would do because you're going to paint straight over it anyway. So with Napkin and Mod Podge, I'm going to kind of create a head and body. But look at these cute little things. So we've got leaves. We've got little mandrake leaves. So these will be on it as well. So I will do a layer of Napkin and then stick the leaves on top and Napkin over. So obviously it looks like it's coming out. I, I don't know whether I'm using both or whether I'm just using one leaf on each side. But I'll figure that out as I go along. But yeah, I'm going to let this dry a little bit because it's still a bit sticky. And then, uh, yeah, we'll get on with this. So here we have the basic mandrake shape. Um, I'm a bit unsure on it at the minute. Um, you guys have seen the thumbnail. Do I stop now? Is it worth carrying on? No, no. We're going to carry on. We're going to carry on. Um, obviously, as you can see, some of the paints come off. It's fine. It's fine. I will fix all that. But yeah, I need to let this guy dry now. Um, and then I need to make some little in sorry you can hear the birds really bad uh, the budges yeah I need to make some indents for his eyes his mouth and just some little lines on him but I'm going to let this dry I don't know how long this is going to take I didn't put the hairdryer on it because it's quite fragile at the minute so I'm going to let it dry naturally for a little bit until it's really stuck and then I'm going to whip the hairdryer on it and then uh, uh, yeah I'll be back with you for the next step Right, I've fixed him guys, he's all dry and I've painted around where the paint came off. Um, I was like, no, when that happened. And what I've done, because I need to make imprints. So I just quickly off camera tested to see if it worked and it does, obviously, as you can see. So with my pen, I've done one eye. So I'm gonna go in and do another eye. I'll probably speed the process up. And then I need to do a mouth down here obviously that's where my mouth is you see and then we're going to give him a belly button we're going to put some little creases in him and his little arms and legs um and then i'll talk about what i'm going to do next <laughs> So there's his little imprints. <clears throat> so let's put the lid on the pen, Susie, because this is how pens dry out. There we go. Right, so yeah, I've got some brown. It's a different brown to this. Oh gosh, I have I got dust on it already. Anyway, so yeah, in with my little brush, I might need a smaller brush than that actually, but I'll get that in a second. I'm gonna just put a bit of this brown in the indents and then use the same brown but put a bit of white to it to lighten it to go over the mandrake itself and fingers crossed he's going to start looking cool
painted in all the little indentations in our little mandrake with <coughs> our brown. Just make that a bit darker. So yeah, I need to let this dry. Um, and then once it's dry, I can then go over with a lighter brown and obviously all being well. <laughs> I'm not going to cover these indentations so they will stay dark. So yeah. Oh my gosh, fingers crossed guys. Right guys, I've mixed the white in with the brown. Oh, moment of truth, moment of truth guys. Uh, yeah. Oh yes, yes. We've got the right colour. Well, I'm happy with the colour anyway. Not all mandrakes look the same, you know, guys. So yeah, I'll speed the process up. And let's get this little guy painted. so far he does look a lot better now he's painted i just need to um i caught the book so i need to get that dark paint again and get that sorted and then i'm gonna go off and have a little think um i think the next step i'm going to sponge gold because we need to make these letters obviously we need to let the word herbology stand out a little bit more again but yeah i'm gonna let this dry and just go round where I've made some mistakes and then I'll be back with you. Right, so he's fixed. I've painted the book again where I caught it and I've gone over some of the darker, you know, the dents in him again because I did catch it with the lighter colour. But I do really like how this is turning out. Like I said, you're going to see better pictures at the end. Anyway, what I'm going to do now, he is still wet. You can see as well where I've painted around the book. I am actually, while he's drying because this won't get in the way we're going to flip him upside down and what i'm going to do is with a bit of gold paint on my plate there we go i only need a bit i've probably put too much on anyway i'm just going to with my sponge sponge the letter in gold So, that looks better. What I want to do now is I want to add these corners. I love these antique corners. Obviously, I've got four, and they're going to go in each corner. Let's have a look. Yeah, I'm going to like this when it's done. I do have another idea, but once I've stuck these corners on, I will see if I still want to do the idea. But... I'm just going to use PVA, I think. I still have that bit that I used earlier. I'm just going to use PVA to stick these on. I normally use glue gun, but I'm going to try and get them to stick with PVA. They should because they're only lightweight. They're only thin metal. So yeah, let's get these corners stuck on and make it look fancy. <laughs> As you can see, look at this, this is so cool. I kind of want to do something with this on here, but I'm not quite sure. So what I'm going to do is off camera, I am going to finish this book off with some foliage for the Herbology book. And then you're going to see some proper photos of this thing. And then uh, I'll talk about the whole thing at the end with what I did with the leaves as well. So yeah, see you soon.
just seen pictures of it but I am happy with it I am I am I wasn't going to get the mandrake any better than that I'm not very good with mandrakes to be fair but yeah here he is what do we think what I might do is because there's a lot of clear I might put a bit of Mod Podge over the top maybe maybe I don't know anyway so yeah the leaf edge the foliage we just I decided to do a spine a spine of leaves down the spine but yeah I'm really really happy with how this has turned out and I can't wait to put this with my other books and things um this is making me want an, a herbology area so bad um oh I love it so much I really really do I really really do so I've made a few books now um DIYs on the channel have you had a go at any um have you do diff done different ones that I've done you know what I'm gonna say send me photos on my social medias like I said at the beginning they're all linked in the description send me photos of your creations I'd love to see if you've done any books I do have more book ideas that I would like to do but for now um I need to concentrate obviously you saw that I've done a your ball area now and obviously where the your ball area is I've had to move honey dukes we had to kind of move it from there anyway because it was getting so full that has moved and we do have a room of honey dukes um I will reveal now it's in here hiding it while doing this DIY was really hard but it's nowhere near finished yet guys but as soon as it's finished I will show you I'm really really excited there's literally so many plans for honey dukes in here um but it's looking pretty oh I'm, I want to show you but I'm not you can wait until it's done but it's looking pretty cool how it's set out at the minute but yeah anyway back to the book I'm really happy with how this has turned out I love mandrakes um I'd love to do a DIY mandrake um I have made one before I made them out of clay but I don't feel I feel that there's better mandrakes people are better than me at doing mandrakes and like I said I wasn't going to get him better than this on here but I am pleased with how he has turned out but you can be the judge of that give it a massive thumbs up if you did enjoy this tutorial and you did like you do like my herbology book but yeah talk to me in the comments guys let me know what you think I'm going to end this video now and I have got a lot of cleaning up to do. <laughs> ah! Yeah, I'll speak to you in my next video. Bye, Puzzle Puppets.